Hi folks, Nalki Fly Shop here. Well, our coho season is over and now it's trout season. And with the salmon being in the rivers, spawning, trout really are focusing on eggs. So we're going to do an egg pattern today using uh, golf resins and a bead and some thread and a little bit of white marabou and that is it. So what I'm going to do is I like to line my hook. Uh, the hook I'm using is a scud type hook. And this In this case it's the number 8. Barbless. Where we are, everything has to be barbless. That's fine. So I'm just lining my thread, uh, my hook, with a thread body. This way, it keeps it. Um, it keeps it a little more stable on the hook. I'm going to slide my bead on, and I'm just going to put on a little bit of Thin Man resin, Gulf Thin Man. To help hold this bead in place while I'm tying. Very simple pattern, very, very easy. I'm using a fluorescent orange 4.8 millimeter uh, bead. There. Now, what I'm going to put over the bead, because it's orange and it is an egg color, I'm going to put over, put it over it, I'm going to put a clear resin. In this case, I'm going to be using Golf Classic uh, resin. And have my trusty light where it needs to be. You want a rotating vise or quick handed, one or the other. And you want to have a pin close by because this stuff will run. It's designed for that. It has to be run. It has to be, has, viscosity needs to be manageable. There we are. Whoop. Now I want that to round off like that. Now you can see it taking shape, egg shape. Perfect. Now put a little light on here and we will see how that turned out. I got a bubble on the side, damn it. That's okay. Let's put a little thin man on there just so we can fix that up. Now, as we know, eggs aren't perfect in shape. There we are. Now, so that, that orange shines right through reflection comes right through the clear transparent eggshell. Pretty interesting stuff. Now I'm going to put a couple of, uh, I think I'll put a little more resin on, just a bit. I'll make the egg fairly big, almost like a, a Chinook egg, which are quite large. Pink salmon eggs are much smaller. And coho eggs are about this size. There we are. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Get my light ready. Get my trusty light ready. And there it is. Make sure you have your, your lights charged. These are the Golf Hero Light. This is the Golf Hero Light. 5 watt. Pretty nice. Pretty nice light. There we are. Now. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of a accent on that. A red dot. Fluorescent red. I'll put a red dot on the other side. I wonder, does the fish see from both sides? Or just the one side. Now I'm going to cover that with Thin Man. I don't like the resin on top of resin like that. Those those dots will actually pull off in fast water, or a fish hit or something. So I'm just going to cover everything with a little bit of resin. And 
not much. There we are. I left the thread dangling. If you're not going to put any type of a skein material on there, you don't need your thread. But I am I am using white marabou. Uh, you can use uh, skein veil, all sorts of different stuff. You don't need much. You don't need much at all. Doesn't have to be pretty. Doesn't want to be pretty. Remember, these eggs are are the eggs that aren't going to be. Uh, there we are. Look at that. Already. Just turn that. There. Nature at its best. I'm going to use a little super glue on the thread just in case. And I'm not going to be too fussy. You don't need to be too fussy. Uh, these are imperfections. Remember, that's, that's what these trout that are feeding on is imperfections. You don't want a lot of material as a skein material because you won't see the egg through it. Super glue, using Gulf Minuteman super glue, love it. And there you go, folks. A very cool quick tie and very effective egg pattern for a trout, steelhead, Coho and Chum and Chinook will also bite that. So. Thanks folks for watching. We'll see you next time.